Welcome to Jamaica News Online with Esmer Zastin and here's what we have in today's news. Higher number of crash victims needed emergency care at Cornwall Regional Hospital, two killed in crash in Macook, Spen, St. Catherine and illegal building along Rodney Street in Falmouth to be demolished. Details coming up right after this break. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button. And remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. The Cornwall Regional Hospital is expressing concern about the number of people turning up to its accident and emergency department with injuries from motor vehicle crashes. The hospital is reporting a year-to-year -year increase in crash victims requiring emergency medical care. Clinical coordinator for the Western Regional Health Authority, Dr. Delroy Frey, says crash victims have far surpassed people seeking treatment for bullet wounds. Last month, 17 people turned up at the facility with bullet wounds. By contrast, 89 crash victims presented to the A and D department during the same period. While the number of gunshot wound victims appeared to be declining, Dr. Frey told the news that there has been a steady increase in crash victims seeking treatment at the hospital's accident and emergency department. Despite not having the figure for July, he extrapolated that even with another 90 cases in the month, the total number of cases the hospital would have seen up to present would be about 900. Dr. Frey said the increase in crash victims requiring emergency assistance is causing a delay for other people requiring medical attention. Two men died in collision on the McCoy Penn Main Road in St. Catherine on Wednesday. They have been identified as James Morgan and Nicholas Carey, both mechanics from the parish. It is reported that about 9.20 p.m. the men were traveling in a Nissan B14 motor car when Mr. Crary swayed to avoid a collision with another vehicle whose driver had swerved to avoid a pothole. The Nissan crashed into a Toyota Land Cruiser that was in the opposite lane. The fire department had to be called to remove the unresponsive men from the wreckage of the Nissan. They were transported to Spanish Town Hospital along with the female driver of the Land Cruiser. The men were pronounced dead while the woman was admitted in stable condition. Meanwhile, a taxi operator is calling for the authorities to fix the potholes. The Trelawney Municipal Corporation is prepared to demolish illegal building along Rodney Street in Falmouth. This was announced by Mayor of Falmouth, Colin Gager, at yesterday's monthly meeting at the municipality. We have noticed these buildings in the vicinity of the fishing village and primary school. They have no sanitary conveniences. They have illegal connections to JPS. They have been given notices to move and no amount of begging will be entertained when the demolition team gets into action. The police, headed by Superintendent Winston Milton, is on board for the demolition of these illegal buildings, said Gager. Kirk Spencer, principal of the Falmouth All Age, who welcomed the plan, told the news, I am at my wit's end and I am appealing to the Minister of Education to erect a fence border to prevent these people from invading the school. Spencer further revealed that the residents of the illegal building show no respect for authority. They walk into the compound and use the water pipes where the children drink and threaten the children during school hours. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.